everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to make these delicious butter pecan waffles with a sweet caramel sauce. These waffles are so delicious! I should have put pecans in waffles a long time ago. So let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by making our brown butter. In a small pot over medium to high heat, melt one stick of butter. You'll know your brown butter is ready when the butter has a nutty aroma to it, it turns brown and there is a slight foam at the top. When your brown butter is done cooking, take it off the heat. Pour your butter through a fine mesh strainer to remove any of the little brown bits from your butter. Then set your butter to the side. Now chop up some pecans. When you're finished, melt some butter in a pan over medium to high heat. Then add one third cup of your chopped pecans. Continue to cook it for about five to seven minutes. Add more butter as needed. When you're done toasting your pecans, take them off the heat and set them to the side. In a large bowl, sift 1 and 3 fourths cup of flour. One teaspoon of baking soda. One and one half teaspoon of baking powder. And one half teaspoon of salt. Alright, now set that to the side. Now separate three large eggs. Now take your egg whites and whisk until stiff peaks form. When you're finished, set your egg whites to the side. Now in a medium sized bowl, pour in your three egg yolks and one third cup of sugar. Whisk the sugar and egg yolks together until it becomes smooth and turns into a pale yellow. As you can see, I keep pausing while I'm whisking and it's because it's a workout. My arms were burning! When you're finished, add your brown butter. Whisk everything until well combined. Then add one and three fourths cup of buttermilk. And finally, add one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract.
Now we're going to combine our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. I always like to push the dry ingredients to the edge of the bowl so I can create an empty center so I can pour the wet ingredients inside. Now we're just going to slightly whisk everything together. You don't want to over mix it, just like slightly mix it together so it's kind of well combined but not completely well combined. Then gradually fold in your egg whites. Now that the batter's finished, we can start making our waffles. Add melted butter to your waffle iron. Then add one cup of your batter. However, I should mention that the amount of batter you use may vary by the size of your waffle iron. Make sure to even out your batter, then add your toasted pecans. Once your waffles are done cooking, they should look like this, all golden brown, buttery, and delicious. I'm always like really happy when the waffles come out well. <laughs> Remove the waffle from the waffle iron and then repeat the process until you run out of batter. Now that the waffles are done, we're going to start making our caramel sauce. In a saucepan, pour one cup of sugar and one half cup of water. Bring the sugar and water to a boil. Stirring occasionally, making sure the sugar doesn't stick to the bottom of the saucepan. While the sugar water is heating up, pour one cup of heavy whipping cream into a small saucepan. Proceed to heat the heavy whipping cream over medium to high heat until it is almost boiling. When your sugar water mixture is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, you can begin adding your cream. By the way, I'm using a candy thermometer to check the temperature of the sugar water mixture. Pour your heavy whipping cream into the sugar water mixture one fourth cup at a time over low heat. Whisk the cream in until the bubbles have completely disappeared and then add more cream. Continue to do this until you run out of cream. When your caramel is finished, take it off the heat and place it into a container to cool at room temperature. After I finished the caramel, I made a quick homemade whipped cream. I think I added about one cup or one cup and one half cup of heavy whipping cream, a half a cup of sugar, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste and you could also use vanilla extract. Use a hand mixer or a whisk to whisk everything together until light and fluffy. Gradually add more sugar in as needed.
When you're finished, set your whipped cream to the side. Decorate with your favorite toppings and you are all finished. This is what it is. These waffles tasted so, so freaking good! The caramel sauce tasted great with it, and it was my first time making it, so my advice would be watch it. Watch it like a hawk. That sugar will burn, and it will burn fast once it gets really, really hot. So once it gets to the right temperature, start adding your cream and turn off the heat. No, wait. Don't turn it off. Put it on low. Turn down your heat. Anyway, the waffles with the caramel sauce and fruit and whipped cream all together makes it taste delicious. Thank you, thank you so much for watching the video. Everything I used in the video will be in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! BTW, you can totally freeze any leftover waffles and put them in a Ziploc bag. And then when you're ready to eat them, pop them in the toaster. They'll be fluffy, crispy, and warm.